Welcome to another episode of Evernote Advanced Features. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in this week's episode, we're going to be talking all about how you can utilize tables within your notes. Coming up next. So here we are within Evernote for Mac. And in this week's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about notes and how you can utilize tables within your notes. If you are looking to um, add a little bit more flair, I guess you could say to your notes, or maybe you're needing some more data within that note. Maybe you're created a project and you're adding notes just by text and then you want to add a table to show a maybe a breakdown of the uh, of that uh, project or that note in a, a more simplified uh, format now tables within um, tables within Evernote isn't like tables that you would see within um, say a spreadsheet program like Excel now tables within notes you can't add any formulas or such but what tables does allow you to do is add columns and rows if you are needing to have a breakdown. Let's say you want to add a calendar within a note for some reason. You could do so with a table. You could also, if you wanted to create an exercise program and say, uh, say you wanted a uh, column headers Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for your exercise program, and then you could do a breakdown of your exercise and your routines. So you could create um, different kinds of tables within notes to make it look um, more presentable if you're doing presentations or if you're trying to um, create some sort of exercise program or such. Now, here you see I have Evernote open up for Mac and currently I have a note open up called Time and Life Mastery. Uh, this is a uh, course that Carl Pauline is doing uh, on uh, Udemy. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, go to Udemy.com and uh, check out his course on uh, on there. Also, uh, if you haven't checked out Carl's um, YouTube channel, go check it out. He has a lot of cool stuff on there as well as far as productivity goes. But in this, in this episode here, I want to show you about tables. So if you click on New Notes here, and I'm going to create a new note, and I'm going to call it um, Exercise Routine if I could spell. All right, so once I labeled it exercise routine, now I go down here and I have options here on my toolbar. Now, I could go up here to format and go here to tables and insert a table, but, or I could also use the shortcut. However, I like to do things a simpler way and I'm not really much of a shortcut guy, but the toolbar is right here. So I can just click on toolbar here and I can select the tables. Now, when I click on this, I have a choice. I can select a table that I want uh, six wide or uh, six deep, or maybe I only want it uh, four wide. Well, in this instance, I'm only gonna want it five wide and um, I think I'll have it four deep. Uh, so it's five rows or five columns over and four rows uh, deep or down. So once I do that, I go ahead and click on that and now I have created myself a um, table here within this note. Now let's say for instance, I wanted to label this. So maybe I wanted to label it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if I can spell Thursday and Friday. Maybe that's the only days I want to do my exercise on. Now, once I do that, you see how it's not actually centered inside the cell. Well, I can center it by just highlighting it and moving it over like this, or I can just click here on this little gray spot here and it highlights that whole row right like that. And then I can go up here to this drop down menu and it's center. And now it centers that text. So, pretty much everything that you can typically do within, say, if you were inside of a spreadsheet program, you can do within tables here. This just that you can't really do formulas or what have you. 
Now, let's say, for instance, inside this table, I wanted to um, highlight or I wanted to color these cells so it stands out. I can do such by clicking on this little down button here and selecting whatever color I want. And so now this is colored that and it stands out a little bit better. And then I can go ahead and create um, different stuff down below. Now, for instance, let's say I realize, well, I kind of made a mistake. I kind of want a headers over here as well going down. So I need to add another column. So what I could do here is there is a little plus here, a little dot here. And wherever I want to add the column, I just click on that plus and it'll insert it right there. So I want to enter a column here. So I hit plus and now it enters a column here. Now let's say for instance, I want to put weights and running and um, elliptical, if I can spell it. And of course I always mess it up, but there you go. So now I've created this uh, column where I have, uh, or this column here with uh, these different headers here. So I have, you know, basically a thing where I can put in um, one rep, 20 pound, and I can create myself an exercise program uh, within this table, just so it looks uh, nice. Now. Also, another thing you can do here is if you click on this right here, this little uh, two dashes here, it'll highlight all of this. And if I wanted to, I could also center all of that. So it's all centered, justified, or maybe I don't like that. Maybe I just want this right here centered. And so then all I have to do there is center that. And then if I just want this left justified, I can go back over here and hit align to left. And now it's aligned to left, okay? And then I can also put this as, well, if I could just spell, if I could just spell, it would be wonderful, wouldn't it? So I could put a label there for exercises, and then I could also center justify that as well. Or maybe I don't want to center justify. Maybe I want it back to a line left, so it's separated from that. And then maybe I want to click on this little gray bar here, and then I want to change the colors to all of this. So it's different from this color. So I can do such by clicking that download uh, arrow there and changing the color to, let's say, purple. So now I have a difference. So however you want to um, make this table, you can do such. You can also add a row. Maybe I forgot to add something into this area and I want to add a row. So you just click on that row and add a row there. Uh, maybe I wanted to say um, stretch. And so you can do such there. Now, if you notice, this is now a different color. So I can go up here and I can select white because I want it to match. So you can do different things. You can change the colors of these as well. If I wanted a different color, uh, obviously I want something to stand out a little bit better. So maybe I wanted to change the different colors there. You can change the different formatting within these cells. Also, if you were to click here, you can do cell alignment here if you chose. You could also delete uh, selected columns, delete selected rows, and delete table altogether. So this is basically what I wanted to show you with tables. Uh, this is gonna be a kind of a short episode, but I just wanted to kind of go over a brief explanation of how you can utilize tables within your notes to enhance your notes. Um, and even um, you can uh, use tables for presentations if you so desire. So I hope you got something out of this episode. And if you did, please click on that like button right down below. And if you want to see more episodes like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell. And so without further ado, I want to wish y'all an awesome day and let's become more productive. Thank you.